We are on the positions of Ukrainian artillery and windy and rainy today. But the military said uh, Russian drones uh, flying even in this weather. Uh, that's why it's dangerous, of course, for the work, but they're trying to do the best. A few hundred meters on foot, and we are at firing positions. Here, till remain operate from a 2S1 Gvazdika self-propelled howitzer. It is well camouflaged from Russian UAVs as well. The Ukrainian defenders knew that enemy drones began to fly even on such a cloudy day. They are still launching drones and trying to identify our positions. We were working today and also had a drone buzzing above us, but it flew by from the side. Even with such a wind? They are not afraid. They still launch them. Even if one may get lost, they are trying to locate our positions so they can work on us. For this reason, the Ukrainian soldiers note Russian aerial reconnaissance shelters are often among their targets. Gvazdika effectively strikes at a distance of 12-14 kilometers, but artillerymen also work on closer targets, for example on enemy infantry in the trenches. Whichever target they will give us, that's what we will hit. Is there any big target of yours? I destroyed the harvester with only one shot. What kind of howitzer was it? A D-30, theirs. The memories of the heat targets that the soldiers share with us are interrupted by a combat mission and the artillery men immediately prepare their guns. When the target is identified and coordinates are received, the entire crew of the self-propelled gun is ready to carry out the combat mission. Ready, shot! Serviceman Ihor performs two tasks in the career of the Gvazdika gun. He is both a driver mechanic and a loader. He says that the howitzer is very accurate and it's easy to drive it off-road, but breakdowns still happen. It is going, going, then bam, a pipe broke off, stalled. It happened that a track fell off. The whole crew jumped out, fixed it and went off. Weekly duty at firing positions takes a lot of energy, the soldiers admit. Most of all, the defenders miss their families, but now the front is the priority. No country wants to fight, but a problem occurred here. Well, it's OK, we'll smoke it out. The situation on this section of the front in the direction of Solidar is constantly changing. During a lull period when the enemy is not firing, this means only one thing, that the new shells are being delivered to them, the servicemen say. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Alena Gramova, UATV News.